Hello, my friends. I have big news. Guess who sold her painting? This girl here. Um, I posted a video on TikTok and it kind of went viral. And somebody saw my other TikTok of me doing this painting, and then they asked for sale. Yes, yes, it's for sale. And they asked me how much, and I said 120 SGD. Is it a lot? No. But do I also want the space to create more paintings? Yes. So that's why I'm selling this at a bit of a lower price. I don't have enough space in this room, and I really just need to sell more so I can have more space. Hopefully, one day I will have a big enough art studio where I don't have to sleep under the bed every time I want to do a painting. Work. Let's go. But till then, um, yes, I managed to sell this painting. And you can come along with me as I prep it for sale. Why do I have to touch up the painting? It's because it's been in my possession for quite a while already, so it has suffered a bit. Uh, most especially uh, the scratches. So the only way I can fix the scratches is to sand it. And then add another coat of resin on it. I also did not have a weighing scale, so I had to walk to the shopping mall, buy one, Come back, rain. It's fun. Yeah, I'm a little drenched. I don't know, my luck's been fantastic recently. Okay, unboxing. Oh my god. Oh my god, I didn't buy batteries. Oh my god. I'm going to cry. Oh my god. Four hours later. I am so mad. I waited 24 hours for the resin to dry only to find this. What is this? Is this a boogie? Huh? What is this? This Ah You see this? Oh. It's my head. It's it's my head that ended here. And it took me too long to realize. So I didn't take it off and it just dried a nice little long piece of resin. Uh, okay. Okay. But the next morning to find my skin covered in sores and itching uncontrollably. I had to take medicine and I spent the whole day in and out of sleep which totally sucked because it was the eve of Chinese New Year and I was supposed to go meet my relatives so I just slept through the whole of Chinese New Year Eve. Chinese New Year, the day itself arrives but I woke up to find that the sores on my face had gotten even worse so I've gotten epoxy on my skin um, on my hair and then afterwards because of that I didn't wash it off properly or somehow and I had an allergic reaction to that so when I go to sleep the next night the epoxy transferred to my blanket somehow I put the blanket on my face to sleep and like it just like my whole like my whole face just got worse and worse and worse. Basically my condition worsened. Just really uh, not pleasant to look at and I, I had uh, no face to go and see my relatives in this condition. <laughs> so I had no choice but to go to a clinic. But because it was the holidays, the choices of clinics were very few and the charges were 
exorbitantly high. My total medical bill came out to be a hundred plus. It got better but not that much ha, after Chinese New Year. I went to my regular clinic that was now open and the total bill was like $30. But I was fully back on track and I was ready to meet the seller the following week. Apparently the fire is downstairs already. I didn't have time to get ready or anything. I'm just gonna grab the painting and go. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh my god, I'm so nervous. Okay, okay, okay. Hi. Thanks for buying my painting. No problem. Okay, thank you. The best part is that I almost ran away. <laughs> <laughs> like I gave him a painting and said thank you and I almost ran away without taking the money. <laughs> I got the money. Yeah, that's it. Okay, I just sold my first canvas painting. I'm so excited and happy. Oh, and I was just so embarrassed the whole time because like I felt like why would you want to buy my painting? But yes, uh I'm so happy. It's like my first few steps of becoming a real artist. So yeah, and stay tuned for the next painting I'm gonna do. I may incorporate epoxy into it, but definitely epoxy is staying out of my room. No more epoxy in my room, please. Thank you guys. See you all next time. Bye!